What do we want our kids to learn? Not how to be nice boys and girls. Not how to achieve in the world. Not how to get on with their friends. We want them to know Jesus. We want them to know him, to love him, to trust him, to go on to serve him. We want them to know that there is no other way but Jesus. We want them to know that being Christian is not about being religious, but it's about being in a relationship. We want them to know that they cannot get right with God on their own efforts, but only through what Christ has done on the cross. Yes, we want them to know Jesus Christ and him crucified. Five words for you to take home this afternoon, which will guard and guide you which will sustain and inspire your ministry, which will shape your ministry, Jesus Christ and him crucified. SU chaplains, I have five words for you this afternoon too. Five words from our second reading from 1 Peter. Here they are. Prepared to give an answer. Prepared to give an answer. Your job is different. Sadly, tragically, because we are no longer in a Christian nation but in a secular state, you face limitations in what you can proactively say. And in the course of your ministry, you will suffer for doing what is right. There are forces at work to detract and to distract Another high court challenge this year about your very validity to be in our schools. And yet, friends, we know that God is bigger than all of that. Nothing can stop his purposes. And so the Apostle Peter says in the face of opposition in that passage, set apart Christ as Lord. In other words, friends, we know who owns the room. We know who is the boss. And God will have the final say one way or another. Don't play to any other audience other than him. Yes, work within all the guidelines. I'm not telling you to do anything other than that. But know that in the end, Christ is Lord and no other. It is his work and no one else's. In the final analysis, you are accountable to him.